Peyronie's disease is an abnormal curvature to the penis. It generally occurs because of scar tissue that builds up along the channels that should fill with blood when a man gets an erection. When those channels have scar tissue built up, that area uh, doesn't stretch as well, and therefore it causes a curvature. Peyronie's disease also will be associated with pain, primarily with an erection, but it can be pain even without an erection. Um, and, and sometimes it's associated with shortening of the penis. The pain with Peyronie's disease may not be only for the patient, but also the partner at times. We're not sure exactly how common Peyronie's is, although estimates are that it's between 3 and 5 percent of men. Thankfully, the majority of men don't need surgery or any medical treatment for Peyronie's disease. But the men that do, uh, it can be a very debilitating disease. We're also seeing that more and more men have Peyronie's disease now that medications like Cialis, Viagra, and Levitra are available because men are getting better erections than they otherwise would have. Generally, we have trouble finding the exact cause of Peyronie's disease. We, we do see certain things that lead or make it more likely for men to have Peyronie's disease. The most common is trauma. So most men who have Peyronie's disease at some point have been told that they had some rough sexual intercourse or traumatic event. However, the majority of men don't remember anything like that. Other things that have been known to cause Peyronie's disease are catheterizations, uh, certain medications, and even certain uh, collagen or genetic diseases. Well, treatment for Peyronie's disease is difficult, so it's important to to find somebody that does a lot of it. The initial step in treating Peyronie's disease is to get men out of pain so that they no longer have pain with an erection. And generally the first way we do that is with oral medication. The oral medications we often use are not FDA approved for that purpose, How, however have been approved for other purposes and we found that they're useful in this scenario as well. These medicines will help to settle things down although they generally will not cause a straightening of the penis. Once men are out of pain and there's no more uh, change with the curvature of the penis, then we start looking at actual treatments to straighten things out. Men who are not having trouble sexually, not having pain, and their partners not having pain, often will, not elect, or often will elect to not undergo further treatment. However, patients that are having trouble will look at certain treatments, and the initial one we often offer will be injections into the penis. That may sound awful, however, we use numbing medications and, and most patients tolerate it quite well. It's a way to get around the curvature and to minimize the curvature without having to go through surgery. If not the injections, some patients will use a stretching device. These stretching devices are useful in the sense that they don't require surgery and, and that they're minimally invasive. However, it does require a lot of time each day and it's a very slow process to get things straightened out. And then finally, some patients will elect to undergo surgery for this. The surgeries we use are either to uh, cut the scar tissue and put a graft in place or to tighten up the other side. Each one has its own side effects, so it's important to talk to your physician about those potential side effects. And the biggest problem is that some of these will not allow good erectile function afterwards. For those men who have trouble with erections beforehand, using a penile prosthesis may be a better option. Men who notice a curvature of the penis should come in for an evaluation as, as soon as they can. Many times we don't have to do anything for this curvature to the penis and, and it'll settle down and go away potentially on its own or stabilize and not become problematic. However, I think it's useful for men to start oral medications early to try to prevent any further progression of the curvature.